For anyone doing this for the first time, I just wanted to share five things I learned that I wish someone would have told me before swapping my power steering pump. Number one, you don't have to buy one of these kits. Uh, you could just go to your auto parts store and they have a loaner programs where you basically just leave a deposit, you take this with you, when you're done, you return it and they give you your deposit back. It's super easy, super quick. Um, and it's that simple. Number two, before you leave the parts store, make sure that all the pieces are in the kit. And also make sure that the last guy that rented the kit didn't strip any of the, any of the parts. I wasn't so lucky, but I still made it work. When you inspect this kit before you leave, make sure that you're opening this thing from the correct side. Uh, let's, let's take a look here. Open this side up. And then also here, this side up. And the reason you want to do that is so that the Napa Num Nuts aren't laughing at you when you go and you open this from the wrong side and all the guts and all the components spill out onto the greasy counter and then you're sitting there trying to pick everything up and you're not familiar with this kit so you don't know which piece goes in what hole. See, what people do is they receive this and they said, oh, cool, I got my kit, great. Let me go ahead and open this up. And they just turn it around, open it up, boom, components everywhere. Before you leave, ask how long you have with this kit before they keep your deposit. Just in case a 100-year snowstorm rolls into Texas and you and your family go without power and water for a week and you're too busy melting snow to harvest water and using your neighbor's pool water to flush your toilets, then driving your crawler through the snow and black ice so you can deliver donated blankets to the local hospital so the nurses and doctors can stay warm. So make sure you meet their tool return deadline because you might not get your 50 bucks back. Number five is how to install this thing. Well, let's go ahead and open this up. We're gonna open it up the right way here. Boop. Bam. I like to keep my receipt in here. That way, I know when I got it and when they're not gonna try to keep my money because I've had it for too long. I got this at Advanced Auto Parts. They gave me 45 days. After that, they keep my money. I don't want that. So, I have five days left because, you know, we were without running water and, and power for a while. So I had to not be in the garage, you know, doing hobbies. So, okay, um, let's let's go over first the hardest part, in my opinion, and that's the uh, the removal or, or or pulling the pulley off of the uh, of the power steering pump. Okay, so I can better explain this. Let me show you this part real quick. This is a power steering pump I recently finished. I just want to point out a couple of different things on here. Um, let me make sure I'm in focus. So. What you have right here, what I'm pointing at, is the power steering pump shaft, and then outside of that is the pulley. So this piece that I'm pointing to now, all of this is part of the of this pulley here. Okay. Now let me show, let me grab the uh, let me grab the old one, so you can get a better idea of what's happening here. So you're removing that pulley away from this shaft. It's a press fit, and that's basically all you're you're doing, and that's what I'm about to explain here in a sec. So now let me show you what's required. To pull that off. Uh, here are the half jaws. The sleeve. Puller body. Center screw. Screw button. And that's all you need for the uh, for the removal. Get this out of the way. Go ahead and take your um, center screw and your screw button, put that on. Go ahead and put this uh, puller body, or start screwing this into the uh, puller body, just to get it started. See how it popped out this other end here? Okay, just like that. And then that's good. So now we have these pieces here. Let me go ahead and take this power steering pump. This is probably, that's probably a good angle right there. Okay. Take your jaw halves. Let me show you this orientation real quick here. This is the outside. See how it looks like an eye? And that almost looks like a perfect circle. This goes up against the, the uh, pulley. So there you go. There's 
one half. There's another half. And there is the other half. Grab your sleeve. Slide that on there. And there you go. You're not out of the woods just yet, but that's just gonna capture everything in place. And then what you want to do is you want to uh, you want to lubricate these threads. That's very important. But then all you're gonna do is you're gonna hold. You're gonna get a wrench. Hold on to the center screw here, and then you're gonna spin this until it basically until it basically removes. And see how this is kind of loose? That's fine. Don't worry about that. This sleeve being kind of loose. You're gonna keep spinning this until it pulls the um, the pulley off of the shaft. So as you saw in that last clip, basically this entire thing will come off with the pulley and then that's it, That's you're done. It's literally that, that simple. And I'll just take this off in reverse so you can kind of see what's going on. So first, let me let me loosen this up. Oh. Sleeve, half jaw, the other side of the half jaw, puller body, and center screw. And screw button. That's everything you need to pull off the pulley. Super easy. Puller body, thrust bearing, thrust washer, center screw, GM 3.1 adapter. Half inch. Seven sixteenths. Gonna lube her up a bit. took forever okay one last bonus thing here uh, try to get try to get a kit that comes with the manual installed in the case like this one here uh, this will help you out tremendously this is actually what you should be following really uh, I'm just again I wanted to share my experience and just tell you some things that I learned uh, some things to look out for and the uh, the pulley removal and install procedures. But again, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's feeling good. And I hope everyone's getting to do whatever it is they love doing. And uh, I will, uh, I'll see you on the next vid. Stupid cases.